the core, which you can see now very clearly, is composed of individual fuel elements. And this is the model of a fuel element in one-to-one. -one. There are presently 83 fuel elements in the core, and most of them are almost 50 years old. So the consumption is very low because the power of this reactor is extremely low. It's a different moment. So uh, we have received or uh, bought these fuel elements from the United States and there are contracts with the United States when the reactor will ultimately be shut down the fuel will be returned to the United States. Uh, uh, this type of reactor is the most widely sold uh, research reactor for hospitals and universities because it's an ultra safe reactor and uh, it's rather cheap in operation. We have only four staff members who run the reactor. We, we run it from Monday, Friday from 9 to, to 4 o'clock normally. Uh, for students, uh, we don't do any commercial business, we don't sell radioisotopes or something, we only do academic work, which means that the results of the, the experiments should be publishable in a scientific journal. Huh? And uh, yes, coming back to the, uh, the technology here, uh, as this reactor is very simple, it has uh, three absorber rods, uh, which contain boron as an absorber material, if the three rods are in the core, the reactor is shut down, and to start up the reactor, you have to remove these rods, and uh, uh, the shutdown procedure is only half a second, while the startup procedure is approximately five minutes. So in a moment, you should see some, some blue light coming up in the center of the core. Around the core, there is the fuel elements, you have a ring, this is a graphite reflector, Graphite acts like a mirror to, to return the, the neutrons into the core. Uh, and uh, the, the water, you can, uh, which is in this tank, about 20 cubic meters, is normal clean water, distilled water. And it acts for two reasons. First, to, uh, to cool the reactor, uh, because the, during operation, the fuel elements uh, have a surface temperature of about 80 to 90 degrees. So the, the water temperature increases up to about 35 degrees centigrade and is circulated through a, a, a heat exchange, a coolant. Huh? Uh, and second, it shields the radiation so that you can fuel the core during operation, what we are doing now. In the, in the moment, you can see now the blue light in the center, but in a in a one or two minutes, the underwater light will turn off and you will see the full blue glow in the, in the core area. Uh, okay, uh, in a tissue you see some tubes penetrating from the reflector through the tank wall. These are so-called beam tubes. This is to extract neutrons for experiments, which you will see when we walk down into the reactor hall, neutron scattering, neutron interferometry, ultra small angle scattering, and so on. Uh, is that the, the heat? Band, the heat? Is that the heat coming up? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. You see the, the troubled water is the is the warm water coming up from the core, and uh, uh, this reactor has uh, about. 10 automatic shutdown procedures. So without any interference of the operator, it shuts down automatically if the temperature of the water is exceeds 40 degrees, if the fuel element temperature is too high, if the power increases too fast, uh, if the water level drops uh, for half a meter. So there are all automatic safety features. This makes the reactor very safe. And in fact, we have student courses where the students work right here on top of the pool, making experiments. Uh, what you see here on these ropes, there are some samples attached which um, belongs to students. They have irradiated some samples and now they cool down for a while until they, they pick it up. Uh, 
the scent of the color, you can see the blue light, we can also introduce samples. And in addition, there are five tubes here, two of them are open, where you also can uh, um, lower down samples for the radiation. Uh, in fact, during the presentation of now you, you see the, the blue light. Mm -hmm. I will briefly switch off the overhead light. Anything, but you can also <laughs> bring your camera just on top. No, no don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> Nobody ever dropped into this pool, but even if you drop, nothing happens. You just get wet. Okay. We pass this reactor, uh, not frequently, but uh, for uh, students' exercises and explanation of negative temperature coefficient. Uh, I just wanted to show you this radiation capsules. Um, if you want to radiate some material like uh, geological, mineral, or biological material, you will put the samples into this container and very simply you hook it up here like this and it, you can lower it down to the core and to release the capsule. Down in the, in the, I switch on the over. 